Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about my project pen, which products I used up, uh, which I make progress in. So if you want to see uh, that, then just keep on watching. We are coming closer to the end of the year, so I am excited to show you what progress I did and how I did overall in October. So yeah, let's jump right in. Can't decide what hair I want to do. I used two of my products six times and you will see the difference. Let's start with primers. And I used my Milk Hydro Grip six times. You can definitely tell. Like this is like this is just a like little little bit closer to the end. I did though remember to use it and um I still love it and I don't use like like small pump no 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 I use a lot so this stuff is really really uh good for that and the same I used my milk hydro grip setting powder and you can tell this is six times in that like this whole thing is six uses definitely tell there's just a little bit left so I'm hoping that I can use this up in November I'm 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 working on that one though because I don't think that I could use this up in November. Let's come to brows. I used my uh, NYX glue 19 times and that is I think like a lot of times I use it today as well. So this is really nice. I used my powder 15 times and listen those pens are getting bigger i'm so excited that they are of course there's like listen i won't like use this up till the end of the year you know that i know that but i do enjoy a powder brow so i uh, definitely think that is a great step and because i shattered the last one which was in number three this is number two uh, of the glam shop brow powders i am so indeed excited to see really progress because the other one like listen i used that and used that and used that and was not going to end well so you know and then we do of course have also the lift and snitch brow pen and this one is an ash brown it's still there listen this i used 18 times and today it surprised me to be as new uh, i don't listen I don't even know. I, I thought that after almost two years, because it's almost two years, it's uh, one year, 10 months, and it is still working. It's still working as it would be new. And I don't know what, I mean, I, I'm happy, don't get me wrong, but I was like, listen, if I can like switches for an auburn because hair color, uh, I would be fine as well. But again, it's not going to happen. This is still like brand new. I'm like, listen, we will see if I ever, like go for this. I mean, if you buy this, you know that this is holding up at least two years, at least if you just like using it in your front brows, maybe a little bit in the rest of the brows. This is like, again, almost two years here. Let's do concealer next. And I used my Maybelline Fit Me 15 times. And I don't know if you can tell, probably not from that side. I feel like for this side, you can see in this like area that there is definitely less in here. Not sure though if I can use it up till uh, the end of the year. I mean, it's two months left on the clock, but I mean, listen, I am happy that I like tried at least. <laughs> listen, I have tried, I've tried at least. And let's come to uh, foundation and we do have the uh, Lancome Ton Idol Ultra Vert Cara Glow. And you can definitely tell this is going down. This is in 110C. I used it 10 times this month. Again, I use, when I film, I normally try to use another foundation so I can test out ones I have in my uh, like baskets. So yeah, I did enjoy that one quite a bit. I have to say though, this one is really, you need to pamper this a little bit. After trying it out like for several months now, like really getting it on, you definitely need to moisturize beforehand. Otherwise it's like going for dry patches. And this one needs to set down quite like massively because if you don't, it will transfer. <laughs> I had that uh, problem at some point where I'm like, is that going everywhere? It is, it is. So you definitely have to set that down really really good when we're talking about setting let's talk about setting so we do have my fit me powder i use this 14 times in the month and i definitely think you can tell that this is 
around the powder that is left. I definitely think I have a choice to finish this in like the two months because I definitely use it for under eye setting a lot. So it's like really just like a small portion left, which I am happy about because listen, I have like 50 loose powders and I mean, I want to use them up. Then I do have one powder I did use up and this is my Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. I use it eight times. Then it was empty. It's empty, guys. I am so excited because listen, this is a beautiful finishing powder, but my skin is like reacting to it, like producing like oils everywhere which I need to remember that I can't buy like these powders. I did like set my eyes with it or I did finish up the face uh, and my under eyes with this. And I never had problems with that, but I definitely see that my foundation is like slipping a little bit because of the powder. Because if I don't use it, I don't have that problem much. So uh, this one is definitely a little bit more like giving if you will. So if you're really, really dry, I think this powder is stunning. If you're like combination or, or oily skin girls, maybe don't use these. Uh, I definitely need to remember that I shouldn't do that. So uh, I am happy though that I finished this up and I rolled in a new powder and this one is the NYX HD finishing powder. I used it six times this month because the other one I used eight times. So this is in the shade Banana. And this one, I, this one was not a new powder per se. I think I used it once or twice before. And if I can open that now, uh, you can definitely tell. This one is not a finishing powder per se. Uh, it is uh, in a banana shade. I think I bought it because this is really light for me also to use under my eyes. So just so you know, uh, I rolled in a pressed powder and I think this is indeed my last pressed powder because I don't have another one if I'm not mistaken. So I am thrilled to have that and you know just have like 15 other like loose ones. So yeah but this is the last pressed powder I rolled in. I used it six times. Before I come to face products I want to talk about my eyeshadow primer. I used it five times this month and again at the moment I'm not so fond of it because it definitely decreased and I'm not sure what it is. If it is my skincare, I can change a thing though. Or if it just was like the summer and now we're going into winter, maybe this could be better. But again, I've tried and used it five times. So I'm trying to still. I don't know how much is left, but I do have at least two primers that I am having on a backup for this. At least two, there are even more, I think. So yeah, five times. Let's come to face products. Let's start with bronzers. And we do have the Pat McGrath uh, Labs one. I used this 19 times and I think you can definitely tell. Ha, did I have the pen the last time? I do think so. I think I had a smaller pan and now it's bigger. I mean, I love that. I do love the bronzer. This is really, really pretty bronzer. Not sure if I really use that up till the end of the year. We'll see, but I definitely think I can do a, like a bigger pan in this. Um, I think, I'm not sure if I have another one uh, in like, oh yes, I did. I purchased the Catrice one. I purchased uh, for a Catrice video, which I will link. Uh, I purchased a bronzer, so I will like, when I finished, if I finish that, I will use that one because that is also really pretty. So. Just so you know, there is a cheaper alternative. And then let's talk about my Peri Para uh, bronzer slash, slash contour. I would say it's contour. I used this nine times and I have to say, you can tell, did you? I think I can finish this up quite nicely to, uh, in two months. And then I have, I don't have a backup. That just just like you never saw that uh, I don't have a backup because I do have a Kaleidos blush that I could use as a contour and so yeah just to so you know I don't have a backup of this but I mean I do have I think I 
can, I definitely think I can finish that in two months at least, in my opinion, just saying. I also used my MAC blush nine times and this is in the um, Glow Play blush in Blush Please. And I did switch the um, like puttiness in the middle a little bit more. So um, yeah, I am to be honest quite, I think positively moody or in the positive mood to finish this. I think you can see it's not like a lot left. Uh, and listen, it's time. It's like this brush is three years old. We definitely should like finish that up. I mean, I have a lot of, lot of uh, pr br uh, blushes in my collection. So I will not like be sad if I like can finish this because I did enjoy it. I do love the color. It's really nice and I did have an alternative in the same video I linked with, with the bronzer. I do have a seemingly alternative for the partiness for the color uh, in that video. So if you want to see like a dupe, watch that. Okay, let's talk highlighters. I used my Natasha Denona 11 times. It's still crumbly. I'm sorry for that. And you definitely can tell there is a lot of free space. Uh, listen, I'm not sure if I can use this up in two months. And you will like, listen, girl, that's almost done. That, yeah, I, I know. But listen, till I got to this point, that needed a lot of time. And I'm not sure if I can use it up in November and December. Because this is a lot of product. And this is highlighter. So I'm not using it all over my face. Maybe I should. But listen, maybe I should. But uh, yeah, that's like the main problem I have. And again, it's crumbling a little bit, a little bit more, just saying. Uh, for my other one, this is the Maybelline Face Studio and this is in Diamond Glow. Um, yeah, listen, I've got a bigger pan here as well. I just use it three times because I had other um, highlighters I wanted to use. So yeah, this is uh, coming a little bit short, but I think like three times, I mean, that's also good. Again, I was not sure that I even like hit pen on this and I did which I am super grateful for. Okay coming in real uh, fast uh, we do have my Stila um, liquid eyeshadow used it four times listen I remember it last time I think I didn't even use it um, I always forget I'm sorry for that I didn't want it to and uh, then we do have my lash glue and I did do a mark when it stands like I have this much left I used it nine times in October so I definitely think I have a lot to go through but listen this one is a really cheap one I do enjoy quite a bit so I'm not like mad if at some point and normally it's like this so I have like half of it still that normally it gets clumpy so but I mean it's under three bucks so I'm not caring about that quite a lot tell you. I am wearing though on my lips my uh, my lipstick. This one is by Pat McGrath. This is a nude Fantasia and this is stunning. I used it 10 times in this month and I still am still absolutely loving it. By the way the packaging is super damn cute and I do enjoy that it has like a little bit more of a yellow undertone which again I, I think is really suiting for me. Is it the best for, the best for white teeth? Probably not. Listen, probably not. Um, I have to say though, I'm not, I didn't use my uh, gloss a lot. I used it twice. And this is the crushed oil infused gloss in Rose Garden. And you should think I know this by now, but I don't. Um, I didn't use it a lot this month, to be honest. I have to say though, I feel like I didn't use lip products a lot. Maybe it's me. And then we do have um, my um, lethal gloss. I think I did. I forgot to mark it, but it's definitely going there. I used it six times, uh, and I listen. I'm I'm happy with the progress I'm doing. Like I wouldn't have done that so far, so it's still re like smelling good. Yeah, still smelling sweet and uh, good. So yeah, I need to mark that for next month, but in general, I used it six times, so still loving it. And then we do have, of course, my um, my uh, lumping lip liner, which is by Catrice, and I used this 18 times. And you can tell it definitely got uh, like less product. And again, I'm try I have that on today. 
I'm trying to use it up till the end of the year. So two months left, like um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use that up as well because uh, I love it. And I think you can definitely shear out quite nicely. You can work with it quite nicely. You can definitely go for the like ombre lip with it. I do love the formula. It definitely stands whole day without even like doing something. It's not plumping. Listen, it's not plumping, which I love because I hate plumping things because I do have big lips and I don't need a plumping. So uh, that is a great thing. I will definitely, if that ever like goes away, definitely buy another one. These were all my products. <laughs> Listen, I still have my list. Uh, this is going well, really well, to be honest. Just have two months left. I am excited though to see uh, what I can finish uh, further than this. I think last month uh, or last like the first six months I finished 11 products and I do have seven more. So I'm at 18 at the moment. 18 products, I do need five more. So I'm hoping I can do that in two months. So I'm working on that. And I hope you loved this video. If you do, please subscribe to this channel. I upload three times a week. And if you want to add in your comments uh, how you think I did or what your recommendations are for maybe future products to ban, then leave it down in the comments. I would really appreciate that as well. We see us in my next video and I wish you a beautiful day. So bye guys.